Second week of blocking, we successfully blocked both the homeschool and the younger kids, the leads and the ensemble, bringing in the homeschool kids today to block the last half of the show. I really like the idea of blocking the show first and getting it out of the way. It is very slow going and it is a lot of note taking and I try and keep the energy level up, but sometimes just with a task at hand, that's not possible. It works with the older kids. They can get their blocking done. They can do two, two and a half hours of blocking, no problem. Now with the younger kids, you know, not one size fits all for all casts or all age groups. I always say that you can date your ideas, but don't marry them. <laughs> I've been dating this idea about doing the blocking and getting it out of the way with the first couple of rehearsals. With the older kids, yes, it's working great. And I think that after today, when we're all blocked, they will be very relieved that that part of the production process is done. Now with the younger kids, they were so focused, they were so quiet, they really took good notes and they took it seriously. But I think that we were missing in those rehearsals the element of fun. So I've decided with the younger kids that I'm gonna break it up. They have two hour rehearsals on Tuesday nights, so I'm going to do one hour of blocking with them. And then I'm gonna kind of shake it up a little bit and we're going to do some movement. I said, come on everybody and snap your fingers now. Come on everybody and clap your hands real now. Come on everybody, take a real deep breath and repeat after me. everybody because I was a getting a little bit worried because they were so timid and they were so quiet and they were so well behaved I mean most of my cast are well behaved but usually within about 15 minutes of rehearsal starting I'm having to say you guys be quiet <laughs> like the, the actors can't hear me please you know the conversations to the side and in the back of you and even you know while they're blocking there wasn't any of that I do think that has to do with these are new kids they don't know me very well um, they're not used to my craziness they don't know it's okay sometimes to cut up and laugh and act silly the kids mm. The kids don't know each other very well, and so they are less comfortable with each other. So I think as the show goes on and they spend more time together, and as we get further along in the rehearsals, that they'll become more comfortable with me, with their environment, with the script, with each other, and I think that we'll see a little bit of rowdiness. Pop quiz time! Go to where you are for, come on everybody, go! <laughs> Go where you are for Sylvia's. <laughs> Go where you are. 
wherever you are for Jailhouse Rock. I'm so horrible. Don't kill each other. Okay, everybody go where you are for, come on everybody, last one. Okay, whoa. Okay, now, Mason, really? He can't decide. Okay, everybody point stage left. <laughs> everybody point down stage. Everybody step up stage. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That was thank you, Kate and Kason. Okay, everybody point stage right. Everybody step down stage. Okay, everybody exit stage left. Now I'm going to look back on this video when they are being rowdy and out of control and I'm having to tell them to be quiet every five minutes and I will look back on this video and I will think, oh, but that's what you wanted. So be careful what you wish for. Um, my daughter, who is a teenager, has asked that I do not record every single rehearsal. And I started thinking about it and I think she might be right. So I'm going to not record today. This is the lead's final blocking. And honestly, I have eight rehearsals between the two casts and you don't wanna see uh, eight videos of blocking. So I think it will lead to a tighter video. I think it'll elevate the value if we don't go through the monotony sometimes. I mean, sometimes I want you to see the monotony. I don't want you to miss out on any process of um, putting this show up, but it, she might have a really good idea. And you gotta pick your battles with your teenagers. So I am giving her one day. So we're off and running. The schedule is slowly changing. Of course, you take all this time to work out your schedule and what your pacing is going to be. And of course, life happens. Of course, the dreaded changes to the schedule are coming. Life happens, kids get sick, not with the worldwide bug, mind you, um, <clears throat> but kids get bit by dogs, they get strep throat, the weather gets bad. So we are going to be rearranging our schedule. I know the parents are going to love me for that, but sometimes it's completely out of my control. I am still working on my choreography videos for you. If you're lucky, you might get to sit in on a session of us deciding the costumes. The natives are getting restless. And when I say the natives, I mean the parents. They are wanting their kids' colors and what their kids are going to wear. So we're going to have to hash that out. So we've got a lot to do and we're gonna get to it. Okay. Lorelai, Kim. Lorelai, Charlotte, look. Hi. Hi. I'm getting video. I'm going back here. Watch this. Jill. 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 Oh, you're so funny.